Good afternoon, everybody. It is Kim here coming at you live at So Storm Quilt Shop in Alcester, South Dakota. Coming at you live to do a live unboxing of not one, but two new kids slash novelty lines. I've got another line behind me. More moda. So we're gonna be doing another live boxing maybe tomorrow as well. So today that I'm gonna show you, there's two lines. One is from Moda Fabrics called Noah's Ark. It is so cute. Beautiful colors, very unique, couple panel options. We also have a line from Studio E Fabrics called Positively Awesome, which features our puppers persuasions if you will so i'm going to turn it around real quick this first line noah's ark it is a smaller line but lots of fun bright colors that are also kind of muted colors which are very popular right now with the millennial generation so grandmas listen up if you've been tasked to make a baby quilt these colors are what the mothers want so you can see here, this first fun print has these little fun little fish in them and they're just swimming about. It comes in three different colorways. We've got this like salmon-y orange color, a teal, and then the cloud color, which is kind of like an ivory. And you can see those fish swimming about. We have this really neat tonal with different safari type animals. We've got bears and alligators and elephants. And there's even a some type of a lizard. I don't like lizards. But this is the tonal. Comes in three colorways. Again, that salmon and this beautiful yellow. A great color for new babies. Still that yellow stimulating. And a beautiful blue. Again, all tonals. The next print is more of a directional. I'm going to see if I can turn my camera without completely making it mad. So this is more of a directional. There's these little hippos. Here is Noah's Ark. Some scrolling details laid out with the two by two. Very cute. This is more of the taupe color. Here it is in that blue and in that salmon color. I almost want to call it more of a terracotta because I think it's more of a reddish than an orange. Here is another one that is directional. This one's going to give you some more colors, kind of the animals with the faces, some characteristics, lots of colors in this one. This is in two colorways, so with the blue background and then in the cloud background. So that's a lot of fun, very safari-like. The next couple are really just amazing, awesome blenders. So these are almost like a little sun the little face and it's very directional it's very like situational it's all in one specific row if you will and that pretty terracotta peach s color here it is in that muted yellow a warm gray it's not taupe it is more of a warm gray and in that blue and the last print is probably one of my favorites it's this fun little raindrop as like a blender so you have it in the multicolor. That's all the colors that's in the line. Here it is in a lighter version of that salmon-y terracotta color in that blue. And then this is the tonal. So you can see there that white on white. We've got a couple kits, but I'm going to show you the panels first because mom's waiting ever so cutely. So these panels, they measure... I know she's so cute isn't she cute so these are our activity panels we have an activity and we have a book panel so this first one here is the activity you have the instructions printed right on there it measures 60 inches by one yard so it's going to retail for $13.99 this one is going to be a super easy activity because all you're going to have to do is use a little bit of a flexi foam here to put your boat together put Noah's Ark together and then you're going to have all these fun little animals to do stuffies with so this is the first panel and the second panel is a book panel it's actually kind of like an activity book if you will so there's these like little fun fish that go in with the stork's mouth over there it's very cute and again all the instructions are going to be printed on the panel and it is going to also measure one yard 
by 60 inches. So again, $13.99 panel. So that's the panels for Noah's Ark. And then these are two of the kits that we have kitted up. This one is called Two by Two. The pattern is written by It's So Emma. It finishes, I believe it's 47 square. And it's going to retail for $47. I think it's, maybe it's 45 square. All the information is on our website. So you're going to get everything to complete the quilt top, including the binding for this one. And that pattern, this one here is a pattern written by Stacy Itsu. She is the designer of this line. And it's called All Wrapped Up. I love this one because it uses makes like this little wiener dog. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? So this one also includes all your materials. It retails for $60 and binding is also included. So that is Noah's Ark from Moda Fabrics and Stacy Itsu. And I'm probably butchering her name and I apologize for that. I'm not, I'm not necessarily great phonetically. The next line I'm going to show you is another novelty-esque line from Studio E. This is the panel here. It has 10 inch blocks and there's six of them on there and then a fun little runner on the end. It's gonna measure about um, two thirds yards and it's gonna retail that panel for $8.35. The rest of the line with the coordinates are going to retail for $12.50. So this one, there isn't a free pattern, but I did find a lot of free pattern options on their website that would work really well. So that is the panel. Goes to these coordinates. They're all different. It's a very small line, but it's super cute. You have these tossed dog houses, bones and paws on a light blue background. This stripe... Not only do I love it for a binding, but if you look closely at it, there's these little paws that are just kind of like tucked away inside of here. I think that is adorable for both a binding and also a border so you can get those little paws in there. The third option has some fire hydrants in it. So even if you maybe necessarily are looking for something for a fighter fire, who knows? Maybe, maybe that's something you'd like. We've got some fun words here. I love what they say on those little panels, the blocks, you know, love, love your dog. Um, what did the other one say? I'll have to look on it again. But a lot of those same words are going to be on here. Fetch, play, wag your tail. Look at these cute little guys. I just love them. They look sad almost. I'm not quite sure. But a nice size dog print, if you're looking to make something for someone who is a dog lover, this is a nice size to be able to use as a backing or even a larger border so you can keep those dogs still in there. Here is a really cute paw print. Can be used for cats or dogs, really. But it is a black with a gray paw, so very nice size there as well. So you can use it for sashing or bindings. Cute little dog heads as well. And then the last one is a patchwork. So he's not, I'm going to unpin it here. He is not directional because he's got all these little different blocks going different ways. So you can certainly find a pattern to kind of cut out to make it a block. You can use it as a border. It'd be good great back as well. All these little animals. This guy here, he needs an attitude adjustment. I don't know what his deal is, but he looks like cranky britches. So this is the newest line, like I said, from Studio E Fabrics called Positively Awesome. Both lines are available on our website now at sostormquilting.com. Again, that first line was Noah's Ark. Some great options, some kits, some panels, Beautiful fabrics, even some amazing blenders if you're working on something. And Positively Awesome, which is by Studio E. Check it out now and have a great night. Bye, guys.